So springtime has come to Laburnum Crescent. Uh, these are, this is one seed box that I have set for our garden. Uh, I've got another one here and uh, it's uh, April, uh, actually it's March 31st today and um, I have, there's a, that's a seed box in, on top, I think that has oregano in it, I'm not sure. And down here we've got seedlings for mescaline, salad mix, and butter crunch lettuce and different things. And um, it's uh, Saturday morning and we just had uh, a little bit of bacon uh, that Nick uh, cooked up on our stove. And uh, we're going to go out and take a, a look at the, uh, don't look at the dirty dishes, we're going to take a look at the garden and see where we are in terms of our uh, uh, garden and our urban homesteading. Um, out back here you can see the, the coop shed and uh, there's a, a composter, a little barrel composter that we uh, free cycled off uh, the street. One of our neighbors uh, put it out on the curb. and. Uh, Here's the new garden plot. You can see it's about, I think it's about 12 by 12. It's pretty good size. And it is right next to the chicken run. You can see some of the chickens there. And um, we, um, the chickens uh, run extended over most of the garden plot during the uh, winter. So that has been uh, fertilized by chicken poop all winter long. And um, I am learning my after gardening, I don't know, for six or seven years now, I finally read an actual garden book and realized that part of the reason my garden wasn't yielding well was because I never uh, edged it and killed all the roots that were running underneath it. So I did that this year, and you can see it's just about all turned over. We haven't yet planted. Um, we had a weird spring. We got, uh, or we're having a weird spring. We got 80 degree weather about two weeks ago, and so our cherry tree is now a month ahead of schedule in terms of blooming and we've been getting hard frost after hard frost after hard frost now after we had 80 degree weather and our tree is uh, prematurely in bloom. Our trees are, there's another one back here you can see right next to the uh, the coop shed and if you look up a little higher you can see that the trees behind it, the cherry trees behind it, are as well in bloom as is our neighbor's tree. So we've got a weird situation here we, uh, the frost doesn't seem strong enough, like it's been strong enough to kill off our, to destroy the flowers. And yet, while it is, you can say they've got a little bit of frost damage, not loads. Um, but the problem is that it is, right now, about 40 degrees outside. And we're not going to get a lot of bees in 40 degree weather. It's a bit too chilly for them. So, um... Uh, yeah, so our urban home setting is going really well. This is this plot is almost all turned over now, and I will be planting as soon as I'm sure that I'm not going to get any more. I'm not going to plant a ball. Um, as soon as I'm sure that we're not going to get any more frost, I will pick the last of the roots. There's still a lot of roots and debris in this. I will pick the last of the roots out, level it off properly, do some, figure out my bed where my beds exactly are going to go, and then I will. Uh, put in all those seedlings I have. Um, and this summer, my big job while the garden is growing, and I don't have to pay much attention to it, we have another plot, by the way, in our uh, commu in the neighborhood community garden that we're going to go look at today and maybe turn over and get that one ready to, uh, to plant as well. Um, my big job this summer is going to be working on this roof. I have, uh, under that silver tarp right there. I have uh, metal green uh, roofing, metal roofing that's going to go up on top of the roof uh, and um, I'll be doing that. That's going to be my big job this summer is tearing all that off. That's got 100, 105 years of roofing material on it now. It's got two or three layers of tar and a layer of cedar shake and all that's going to come off and I'm going to be up there in a harness tearing it off and then I'm going to be putting up, laying down fresh green metal roofing and that's going to be my work this summer. I'm going to be doing that during June and July and hopefully it won't be too insanely hot um, and, uh, or too rainy um, but that's, what I'm, that's my summer job and when that's done I will have saved about 15 grand, 10 or 15 grand.
getting that done. So that's going to make me very happy. So once that's done, once the roof is finished, um, then we have two other projects. I have two other projects um, that uh, will follow in the next two years. We're going to be uh, finishing off the attic so that uh, we'll have more living space because we desperately need it. The children and, I, and, and my wife and I are tumbling, stumbling over each other much of the time. Um, and so we're going to finish off the attic. But the other big thing is that other silver tarp or plastic, that's not a silver tarp, it's a plastic tarp there. That has our Lloyd and Burnham greenhouse, which is going to, it's a lean-to greenhouse, which is going to go right attached to this bump out here. And it's going to, uh, we're going to bump out the back of the bump out, and then the greenhouse is going to be attached to that. So the whole thing is going to come out from the back of the house um, at about, at a, at a uh, floor space of about 12 by 12 by 12. Um, so it'll be about the same size as our garden plot there. We'll have a greenhouse extending into the backyard. And that will happen as far as I am concerned. That'll be happening next summer. And um, that'll be our excitement, not for this coming summer, but the summer afterwards. I'll be digging the foundation and pouring concrete and um, putting up that greenhouse. So in, two or th in about three years, we're going to have... Uh, some extreme, we've got some pretty good coolness going on, urban homesteading coolness going on now, but in about three years it'll be kicking. So that's just an update on what's going on at, here at Laburnum Crescent. And uh, I'm Dave Shine, and uh, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm an urban homesteader guy. <laughs>